<clears throat> all right so i'm back again um just weekly comic polls it's uh my usual lcs today was a, a small week actually um ending up future state and some incentives that i pulled and some other stuff that's typically on my list so let's see what we got like i said i went through uh and added all the future states to my poll list so here we have legion number two well, Legion of Superheroes, let's be proper. We got Suicide Squad 2. And I want bead covers for all these. I just love the uh, artwork on these better than the uh, the trade dresses, the minimals. Nice. Aquaman 2. My own problem is now i got to read all these. Because I've been collecting all of them. I haven't started reading them yet. I do it mostly for the artwork. I'm kidding. Dark Detective 4. Last one in that series. So it's good that he just has basically a body uh, body vest with some spray paint and his arms are showing. So Batman, Superman. Superman, Imper stop, stop. I hear you. Imperious Lex. So House of L. Very regal, just futuristic. And then, uh, I finally had a crossover to my pull list. This is, of course, the A cover. I could have gotten the incentive cover, or the, uh, rather, the virgin cover of this. But then you look at the, uh, value and everything like that. If it's, it's the same thing, it's, you know, obviously, you know, people know virgins are no writing on it. And for the cost, it just wasn't feasible for me, so just kept the regular cover. Shockingly, ASM 60 didn't have any other covers. It was just this little millipede centipede wrapping up Spidey and MJ. This was, uh, was on my pull list. It was not. I just like Peach's work. Everybody knows Peach Momoko's uh, little stamp there. Here we got X-23 with some wolves, just X-Men 18. <clears throat> I missed this. I I was picking up some of the Alien covers, but I wasn't picking up all of them. I usually go for the covers that either are more aesthetically pleasing to me or series that I was actually reading. So, but I missed Immortal Hulk for some reason. Yeah, I know people are really into this title. They say it's really good. But here's the thing is, it's a first print. I really didn't pay attention to that or know why until I got home and uh, looked it up. So, if you know about it, you know why. If you don't, okay, sirrah. Basically, Marvel recalled this issue and uh, there's some controversy inside. There's a panel inside the comic itself. But seeing a baby, basically like a baby uh, xenomorph beggling uh, the big green here we have, what is it, cover B? 114, Toka and Razor. I don't know if this is the first cover appearance of the new comic. I don't know if this... But, uh... Me and a buddy were talking about this this morning, waiting in line for Target Con. It's good art. I think, actually, I think, actually, Eastman did the title for this, too. Not the title. The cover, you know what I mean. Here's the incentive for it. Well, I think it's funny. Not funny, but you got uh, Donnie back here doing a flip to get in the battle. Leo is uh, just, you know, leading the charge. I didn't pay attention to this. I, I knew what it was, but I didn't know what it was. Buffy and Faith. The uh, This is actually the thank you variant. The Virgin. So being a, uh, I love the TV show and all the other stuff. Department of Truth came out with a trade. So I think I have issue four and five, but this is the first five issues. <clears throat> so instead of trying to go back and just getting the first prints of issue one, two, and three, um, I think issue six came out today also. I don't remember if I put that on my pull list. I got to get with my LCS and check that out. But uh, this way I can catch up on this because everyone's been saying this has been a, a, a good book so far. I didn't, 
things like we live in switch back to me real fast some of the guys i talked to they got their uh series that they've and relatively new titles like we live is one that um i hear that is just an amazing title but it's the thing that i, I want to check out but i really don't want to get caught up into it because this little bit right here was another hundred dollar a week you never realize how expensive comics were getting. My pull list started with like three to five comics on a pull list. Now I'm up to like a dozen plus or, you know, close to 20 damn comics a week. That's it. There you go.